the retail market cycle analysis is quite an amazing story. Um, in fact, I'm sitting here quickly looking at this. Um, this is for the third quarter. There's no plus one or negative one that I can see on there. This is where it was in the second quarter. The entire 54 market cycle, uh, that is uh, MSAs that are uh, reviewed every quarter, they're sitting there right. in that perfect yeah. equilibrium point, number 11, um, which is so interesting to me because we, we always talk about how much Amazon and uh, you know even Walmart and some of the other uh, retailers are yeah. marketing to people at home, right? Yeah. Don't come to the store. Yeah. We'll have every Just size for it. you. Exactly. Do you know your size? We've yeah. got it for you here, uh, every color and yeah. and uh, shape and size. Exactly. Uh, you like groceries now. Yeah. They're, they're telling people to deliver them. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, if it's not there, I mean, you go to the store, your ramen's out. It's yeah. like, what? They're not, you know. Exactly. But I can go back on and order it through Walmart, yeah. order it through Amazon or, uh, or other retailers that are yeah. out there. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, and that they're doing so well. They found a way to, uh, and this is coming from a very beat up industry that with the pandemic, right? Yeah. I mean, a lot of those restaurants and places closed down. They were destroyed. You know? They were destroyed. Yeah. And, and uh, lot, you know, gyms. I mean, I obviously some things are coming back. Hopefully we won't have uh, something like that again to affect them. But I would say this is really a great story. The retailers have figured out a way. Now, we know with that, <laughs> regional malls are still trying to identify and who, who they are, yeah. uh, rebrand themselves. How do we get this? Yeah. Obviously, a lot of them have been building multifamily yeah. so that there are rooftops and buyers that are right there that make it easy to go there. Um, the large, um, what would they call them? The... the department stores, mm -hmm. uh, some have been able to figure it out and some have, uh, are on the way out. Um, it's very interesting to watch that. I don't understand that overall. It, to me, I can uh, look, sit back and look at the things, what, what my shopping patterns were and yeah. why I did or didn't go to those. But, you know, for the first time, I ordered a suit online mm -hmm. through Amazon uh, just to see. And yeah. it was about a third of the cost full well, wool Italian uh -huh. made suit, yeah. um, I was very impressed with. I still got to fit the bottoms, you know, for uh -huh. my, my pants. Uh, of course, they didn't come hemmed or cuffed yeah. or any of that stuff. And uh, because of my uh, upper body size, <laughs> uh, the pants, I know I have a belly, but it, it appears that they uh, 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 would be tight, but they're not. For, for my jacket size, uh -huh. my pants are just way too big, so hopefully they'll take in okay. Having said that, I didn't go to a department store, which is something yeah. I would have gone to in the past. Yeah. Dillard's, Nordstrom. Um, so uh, this is still an evolution, but yeah. for every one of the markets to be in a great place, they've rebranded. They found different uh, uh, local competitors. They're mm -hmm. there. The mom and pops are filling in. Restaurant. Uh, I know entertainment. I've seen several of the old Shopko's. Uh, turn over to uh, the, the jump on it, the trampoline oh, yeah. centers. I've seen some of them turn to the uh, go-kart, yeah. uh, the really fast ones that people uh -huh. could wreck and maybe <laughs> yeah. and have a couple friends that have like busted an arm or two because uh -huh. they're, they're uh, so, hey, they've re rebranded yeah. those places of how, you know, I mean, hey, it's a big box at the end of the day and a great retail location. Yeah. Um, it's a great story. For Amer I love this about American business. People will find a way to yeah. recover. And, and of course, that's the businesses. We're talking about real estate, right? Mm -hmm. Which um, every one of these sectors, that's what it ends up coming out. Well, and so on in this sector, does it happen to include warehouse space at all? Or is that? That's different. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be. So, so, so those, my understanding is, is that the, maybe some of these um, old Walmarts or, uh, maybe big box department store areas in, in downtown locations, if they have been converted to a distribution center, that last mile reach for all these brown boxes going out, they've been converted over to industrial flex warehouse right. distribution. Okay. So it's been moved out of that sector. That doesn't include that there. So there might be some of those things. I mean, I've seen, uh, I've seen that. I've seen some of them go. Actually, I don't know one. There is one sector that I was wondering about the other day. They were storing RV, uh, 
high-end RV storage, campers, uh, basically indoor storage of equipment and things like that, um, right there in a really good location off I-15 and uh, University Parkway. Uh -huh. um, I'm not sure how and what they've deemed that space to yeah. be. It, it, it appears to be more warehouse, but they are getting some pretty good, they, they're packing them in there. So yeah. they're getting some pretty, what I'd say, good lease rates. Having said that, I'm not sure that they're, you know, but my understanding is it, if it was converted to some type of distribution, it went from being retail to industrial. Yeah. So it should not be showing up here. Having said that, of course, every other market there, Salt Lake's part of that, mm -hmm. right there at that good equilibrium. And um, I've watched this, like I said, from afar and up close from the standpoint of saying, wow, this is a, a pretty amazing story of how uh, I think the owners of it, developers, the, the new projects are not like the old projects. They seem to be a little more integrated yeah. with the multifamily that's around it. Mm -hmm. At least that's how it's been in Utah that I've seen. But uh, having said the, um, that recovery in the marketplace for everything in retail to be sitting right there says that the, the landlords are working with business owners to turn this around. It's a great, it's a great story. 